Hey guys, Dean here again with Team Debru, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thousand dollars a day using ClickBank and paid traffic. Um, if you want to join a active growing community, one of the fastest active growing affiliate marketing communities, make sure you sign up for the AFK forum by using the link in the description below. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Here we are on ClickBank's website, the main screen here. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for the ClickBank account. Um, it's a great network to work for. They have tons of offers um, in tons of different verticals. Um, I definitely recommend them. I've worked with them before, and I definitely think they're a great company. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the content. We're gonna show you guys exactly how to set up um, from picking the offers all the way to building out your full campaign. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to use some free traffic methods today to go ahead and get some conversions and make your way up to $1,000 a day online. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the actual dashboard here. Um, uh, this is uh, ClickBank's dashboard. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of their offers. So we're going to go over here to the marketplace. And as you can see, tons of different categories on the left-hand side here of different things that we can do. Um, today, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to do some sort of fitness offer. I haven't chosen the offer yet. We're actually going to do this here together. Um, we're going to choose an offer that we think is going to work good. We're going to build out the actual campaign for it and go through all the steps here. Um, so let's go ahead and go into health and fitness and see everything that they have. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the offers right here, the average sale amount over here if we want to promote it. We'll click it here and then a little bit of statistics down here at the bottom for us so we can see kind of like our average sale, um, all that good stuff. If there's any kind of rebuild, what you might make on a rebuild. Um, but let's see what all we got here. So I want to do something fitness related. I don't want to do anything kind of diet. I want to do something actual fitness um, related, something like that. Maybe this yoga burn or something. Let me see what that's about. So we'll just open up another page here. So this is the lander. Try this 12 week yoga burn challenge. And it looks like it just has a little video here for it. And let's see, want to be popular or make money? Don't be fooled into thinking popularity means sales or revenue because it doesn't. Get $50 CPAs and work towards women plus per week just like our top affiliates. And then it just has like an affiliate page. Check that out. Let's see a little more about them. And I do want to see, one thing I don't like about this landing page is it doesn't really have any kind of call to action. It just kind of has a video for them to play. So it doesn't really, show too much let's see just seeing if it has anything at the end that kind of pushes them to do anything otherwise i think i might go for a different offer i want like some sort of call to action on the page and it's not really doing anything here Um, add to cart. Okay, so it shows it right here, but there is no add to cart button. So what's it talking about? And that was it. So I think I think we're just going to do a different one. So we'll exit out of this for now. Let's take a look at some other offers here. Uh, we'll go to the next page. Eat, sleep, burn. Most of these are going to be for like fat loss. Maybe something like this. Let's see what this one is. Um, same thing. It doesn't really have. Oh.
and just keep looking. This is going to be something that you guys are going to have to get used to. You're going to go through a bunch of offers and just want to see which ones are the best for you that you think that you can really work with. The other ones, they look like nice offers, but I want something that's a little bit more user friendly. Some people aren't that smart, so you're going to want to have them make it as easy as possible for them to click through everything that you want them to click through. And if I don't find something here in a second, then we'll probably just do the yoga one anyway. Um, just because I don't think these are exactly what I'm looking for. So yeah, let's just do that just for the sake of time. I don't want you guys waiting forever. We'll work with the yoga one and see how we can do with that. I believe it was on page two. Not, maybe it was page one. So we'll do the yoga one. Let's open it back up. I want to see what it looks like. So it looks like it's just this pink one. Oh, look at all this stuff that decided to load now. Wow. Okay, so there's obviously tons of things here. Maybe they just have to watch the video first before it pops up. Um, but there's a lot of stuff. So let's do this. I want to save some of these images because we'll probably use them. So I'll just do that, make sure this is where I want it. And yoga burn. Doesn't look like they really have anything else other than that. Perfect, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do guys is we're gonna wanna set up a bridge page. Basically what we're gonna be promoting is we're gonna be promoting these offers across um, different social media sites um, to be able to get our free traffic. Um, so we're going to want to make a landing page from our social media site over to our bridge page and then eventually to our offer. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up right now. The way we're going to do that is with ClickFunnels. If you guys have never had ClickFunnels before or never seen ClickFunnels, this is ClickFunnels website. I definitely like them. I use, have used them for quite a while now. Um, they do have a free trial. You can try them out if you haven't already. You can try for 14 days. Um, they are a little expensive maybe if you're just starting out. They are 99 bucks a month, I believe, maybe 97, want something like that. Basically 100 bucks a month. Um, but they do have a ton of funnels. It is definitely useful. I use them more than a lot of just domains on their own if you're maybe something used for that. The only downside I would say with ClickFunnels is, is when you get a lot larger and you start running a lot more campaigns, um, it can be a lot harder to maybe manage all those different things as well as the speed kind of comes into uh, an issue where you want your pages to load a lot faster. And overall, it can be a lot more expensive than some of the other methods that might be out there. But that's way after um, your scaling. ClickFunnels is great to start with. Um, again, I use them myself. I know other people that use them, um, and I would definitely recommend them. So we'll go ahead and use ClickFunnels here today. I'll show you guys exactly how I build my campaigns exactly for this. Um, so let's go ahead and go into the dashboard. All right, so here's our ClickFunnels uh, campaign here, our template that you can get from our Facebook group. This is our Instagram and Facebook uh, template. This offer basically is just gonna have two questions down here at the bottom that you can see. First one gonna be, where did you find this offer? The second question is gonna be, where are you from? And then after that, it's gonna automatically direct them over to our yoga burn, um, yoga burn landing page that we chose together here. Um, and it's gonna show them the offer for them to sign up with. So let's go ahead and get this click uh, funnels bridge page here set up, make it look a lot more trustworthy, make it blend with our actual yoga burn challenge and um, get it going. So the first things first that we wanna do is I wanna take a look at this and I just kinda wanna copy it here uh, and make it blend as much as possible. So I'll probably put like a pinkish, um, light pink um, background on it. So let's do that first. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to background. Now another thing that you guys can do is if you don't want to have like a colored background, you can go to Google or um, some place that you maybe have images or maybe you take a lot of photos. Um, you can add your own yoga images, maybe your own fitness images, any kind of stretching or anything that you think could really go with this specific offer. You can upload it. Um, but for the sake of this, um, I use colors a lot of times if I can't find images because I don't want to use a pixelated image or make them stretch and not really look that nice. 
So for this one, I'm just gonna use a, a nice, maybe pink one of these three over here. I think I'll go with this one first and I'll hit add image. And as you can see, it kind of um, a back updated our background here and it'll match our yoga um, background a lot nicer too. So as you can see, they kind of blend a lot better. What we wanna do now is we wanna change this up here. They're not getting a free pack of samples. That is something I use on a older video that I made for you guys. So what we're gonna do now is change this to something more relevant with the yoga. So we're, I'm just gonna add what they have up here right at the top. They've already went through it and saw that this is something that works good. I'm sure they've done a lot of testing with these landing pages um, before they even add them up to find out which one's gonna be the best already. So they know that this is a nice copy that they have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that over here. And it's gonna be try this. Uh, 12 week yoga burn challenge. Oh. And I'll just maybe bold that so it kind of stands out a lot more. And then one other thing that I want to do is I want to add an image at the top. So it kind of has something other than this um, just straightforward landing page here. I want to tie it in a little bit more. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add an element. I'm going to go ahead and add an image right here and I'm going to uh, drag and drop it up here and I actually want it on top of this so I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drag and drop it up here again. Go ahead and click on it. Click on where it says image and I'm going to upload an image. Now earlier when we first went on here I went on here and I took this image down here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add that image here too just so it's relatable. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click upload, and I'm gonna find that image that I did, it's right here, let's upload it. So we'll just give it a couple moments for that. All right, so now we'll hit add image, and there it is. Let's see if we can do that. So we have this, that's going to be basically our landing page. Let's do a save real quick just because I want to make sure everything is saved. And I'm going to go ahead and hit preview so I can see it again. And here it is, try this 12 week yoga burn challenge. And they're going to go ahead and click through the offer. So they're going to find it on the different ones. Um, wherever they're from, they'll click through that. And then it'll go ahead and land them onto the next offer. Um, so that's all set up. Let's see what else we got here. Um, one other thing that we want to do is we want to change the SEO metadata so that way when people are looking at the page, it's not saying something random up here or anything that might throw them off. We want everything still to tie in all together. So let's do that too, just to tie everything up. So we'll go to settings. We'll hit SEO metadata right here. And we're going to want to change our title. I'm just going to go ahead and add the same thing. Try this 12 week yoga burn challenge. And then down here, I want to change the social image as well, so that way they can see. So you can see it updated here, you can see it updated here, um, and updated up here as well. And now up here, it's updated as well. So if someone clicks on your link and they just happen to look something up at the top, or let's say you've had this on for a long time, or because this is a free traffic method that I'm showing you guys, Let's say you're doing SEO or maybe you have a review website on WordPress or so maybe running some sort of blog or something. If you have this page open for a long time um, and you give them brought in through the SEO data, this is how they're going to be able to find that through the keywords that you place in here. Um, so you do want to always make sure that you set this up too, especially if you're going to be using this landing page for more than maybe paid traffic methods. So we have that all set up. Um, that's all good to go. The only other thing that you're going to want to do is change these down here at the bottom. The privacy policy, the terms and conditions, the contact us. You're going to want to make sure that you update those with what's uh, down here on the landing page. So you can find usually all that information down here, privacy, terms, all that good stuff. You're just going to want to click on it, get the link from up here at the top, and then just change the hyperlinks down at the bottom down here. Um, I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. Just make sure that you update every single one of these just to make sure you don't get in any kind of trouble. 
And that's it. Um, since we're doing a free traffic method today, we're not going to have to worry about setting up any kind of Facebook pixel with our landing page just because we're not running any paid traffic. Um, so we'll just go ahead and leave it as this. Um, it's all good to go. The only other thing actually, but the main important part, we didn't actually set up the link to our actual landing page. So when someone goes through these offers, um, we want them eventually go to the landing page. So let me show you guys how to do that. So first things first, we're going to click on this right here. It's going to bring up this side menu where we can hit edit survey options. We'll click that. And then it's going to bring up these survey options. Like I told you earlier, these are the two questions that we came up with. Um, if you click on them, that's how you would be able to edit them. So Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, others. I always like to make sure there's an others just in case. Maybe let's say we decided to promote this on another platform other than these. Um, let's say Quora. Um, Quora is a great free traffic source. Let's say maybe Pinterest. Pinterest as well is another great traffic source. There's tons of uh, traffic sources out there other than Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. So make sure that if you are taking advantage of the free traffic methods, that you're taking advantage of as many as you can. You wanna make sure that you have your hand and as many traffic sources that you can and constantly promoting your offers through them. So this is how you would do that. Again, make sure you have an others for that. That's good to go for this question. Um, what you were really here to do though is to change the outcome. So up here, you see outcomes. If you click that, and I'm gonna move myself for a second just because um, what I would need to show you is gonna be on the right hand side here. So I'm gonna put me right here in the middle. I'm gonna hit default outcome. And as you can see, the action section here, there's a custom redirect uh, right here. So we're gonna to wanna to change this link to a, one of our newer links that we got from ClickBank. So we're gonna go back over to ClickBank and we're gonna find the offer. So here's the offer here and we're gonna hit promote. It's gonna bring up this second page. If you wanna set up any kind of tracking, let's say um, you want to eventually create different uh, bridge pages or landing pages or, or different offers or whatever you're doing, um, and you wanna differentiate them so that way you can track them and see which ones are performing the best, um, you can set up different tracking codes right here. So let's say we're tracking with Facebook, you can type in Facebook, and then at the, basically at the end of your link, it's going to go ahead and put Facebook on here. So if you're doing any um, targeting, if you're doing any, anything specific, uh, maybe any, find any kind of reporting as well, um, you can differentiate which ones are doing better for you. Um, so I like to add those in. Of course, if you have some more, more of the advanced tracking tools, you might not have to do this. Maybe your tracking tool itself has some ways for it to do that. So that's something else to keep in mind. But for this, we'll just keep it like this for now. I've already gone ahead and I've copied the link. So we're gonna go back over to ClickFunnels and now we're gonna change this action again. To get to here, you just click Outcomes up at the top. And I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna highlight all this and I'm gonna add my new link. I'm gonna click out of it and I'm gonna hit Save. So you can see everything saved. And now our ClickFunnels page is officially ready to go. So I'm saving again just because of OCD, um, but this is it. One thing I also like to check too, guys, is a lot of traffic nowadays is coming from mobile devices just because our phones are, are such a big thing. We have Facebook, Instagram, all of these social media um, right here on the front of our phone. So I do like to check and make sure that this offer looks good on a mobile view. So as you can see, it looks the same. Everything lines up good. Still has the questions, all the good stuff. It still even has the official picture up here at the top. So I'm pretty happy, I like this. Um, since it's good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and back out because I wanna show you guys this link right here is the link that we're officially, or we're eventually gonna share. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we're gonna do that right now. Um, but first, we're gonna move over to Facebook because this is gonna be one of the first places I'm gonna show you guys how to actually um, generate some traffic to your offers that can eventually um, lead to some conversions. So we're going to go over to Facebook and here is just a Facebook account that I made just to show you guys. It's just a test account, nothing too crazy here. It actually, I think I created it maybe a day or so ago. So there's nothing on here. Um, but what you would do to create some traffic is obviously you're going to want to start adding some friends to your Facebook account. 
Um, typically, what I like to do is I like to create a separate account other than my personal account, um, just because you're going to be doing a lot of commenting, um, a lot of following, things like that, um, and joining groups, posting things, and you just don't want to spam me up your own account. So I like to create a separate separate account just for this, just for my marketing, my free um, things like this. Of course, you want to make it look as um, real as possible. You know, add pictures of yourself or pictures of someone. The one thing that I would like, would say is um, try and make it as real as possible because um, eventually Facebook might ask you to verify, and I always like to be able to verify them um, just so I can be able to get back into the accounts. I don't want to do like churn and burn where I'm always having to get new accounts. Um, so that's one thing with me that I at least, I at least prefer. Um, but let's go get started. I want to show you guys exactly how to find um, some ways to drive traffic to your account other than obviously just posting directly on here once you get some friends. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at some groups and some pages here on Facebook. So since our offer is about yoga, what I want to do is I want to find some yoga groups that I can join and maybe share some of my, my offer into or share some yoga knowledge or things to get people really involved. So I'm, I went ahead and typed in yoga. I'm going to go ahead and type, uh, click on groups over here now. And I want to find some active groups. So this one looks like it has two posts a day. There's about a thousand members. Um, typically, I like to make it at least a thousand members, no less. Um, so I'll go ahead and join this one. It's pretty close. Um, this one has 5.8K members, 10 plus a day. Now, one thing that you guys are going to have to, or you'll notice, is a lot of these groups that are a lot bigger, um, where they're a lot more active, they're going to have to, they're going to ask you to fill out some of these questions to keep out some of the spam, to keep out some of the other marketers that really aren't bringing value to their groups and that are just there to post their offers. Um, so you're going to want to fill these out just so you can actually get into the group. Otherwise, they're not going to accept you. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what would you like to see? Yoga info. What are your yoga goals? To be the best at yoga. Would you like to send us an email? Um, I'm not going to add that just because I don't want them to email market me, which is very smart of them. Keep that in mind, guys. This is going to be something I'm going to go over in this video as well is email marketing. This can be a great way to grow your business or to grow your conversions. So we'll go ahead and put none for now just because I don't want to give them mine and we'll hit submit. And basically it's going to go to get approved, but you're going to want to keep doing this. Just keep joining. Um, all types of different groups. What do you know about yoga? Very little, personally. My girlfriend does yoga she, every day, um, but I don't know very much about yoga. Um, it looks like a bunch of these want to have you join their mailing list. Um, I'm gonna put none again. Um, I would probably recommend though, guys, maybe adding a fake email or, or some kind of email in there just so that way they are more likely to accept you. But I would say maybe join 15 to 20 different groups in here. Um, just join a bunch of different ones. Maybe do some different searches. Maybe do yoga instructions or maybe beginner yoga, things like that. See this group has two members. There's not very much. There's not very much under any of this. Um, let's see. Yoga beginners. So as you can see, there's some yoga beginner ones here. Again, you're going to want to fill out all those questions. I'm not. I already showed you guys how to do that. Um, again, here. So you just want to go through and you're going to want to find a bunch of these. Now, once you do that, um, you can also go over here to pages and you can find some pages about yoga. So you can start liking some pages. Um, the thing is with pages and even with groups is you can't always post in the group. Sometimes you need permission. So you have to understand that when I say join 20 to 25, that doesn't mean that all 20 or 25 groups or pages that you join, you're going to be able to post on. A lot of these do have restrictions. A lot of them do look out for these type of, these type of things. So one thing that you want to do when you post is you're not going to want to sit here and be like, hey, check out my yoga burn challenge. Do this challenge with me. Or like you don't want to post the same thing every day. You want to bring value to the groups. So maybe post, um, you know, give out seven days of free yoga stretches and then also bring up your yoga burn challenge. Hey, you know, if you want to also keep going along with this, 
try out my yoga burden challenge. So you could do things like that. Um, like I said, not all of these groups are going to allow you to post in it. That's why the key to being successful at this is to being consistent. You need to do it every day. You don't want to do it a ton every day because then Facebook's going to think that you're spamming um, and they might start blocking some of your actions. So if you get to that point, maybe slow down a little bit, maybe create another Facebook account to kind of keep the days going or alternate the days. I've done that as well. Um, but for example, let me show you guys how to maybe post. So you, what you could do is, let's see if I can do it in this one. It might not let me um, because I'm not the admin of it. Um, let's see if there's any group forms I'm a part of yet. I just added them, so obviously it takes a little bit to get accepted. But let's see. Uh, it's not going to let me right now because I'm getting um, accepted into the group. So I'll just go into a random group that I already joined. Um, it might not be the same thing, but it'll give you guys uh, an example of maybe something that you can post. Um, so I did a keto diet video for you, so we'll just use this for example. I know I'm in this group. Well, I guess I can't post in this one too. Second. All right, here we go. So there it popped up. So now what we can do is we can um, start posting out different things. Like I said, uh, you don't want to post the same thing every day. For example, like uh, the, hey, join my yoga burn challenge. You don't want to post that same thing every single day. So, um, I mean, if you do it once or twice, maybe once a week, that's fine, but not every single day. Don't be super repetitive. Um, do something like this. Uh, have you ever wanted to try yoga? Try my yoga. Or let's see. This yoga burn challenge was so, was super fun. And... Um, maybe something with kept me in shake and kept and was a great exercise. So you could do something like that. Um, if you guys have never done yoga, yoga actually is pretty intense. Um, yeah. So again, we're going to go ahead and grab the link. We're going to hit promote. I'm not going to set. you don't have to set up a tracking code. I showed you guys earlier how you can and what it's for, um, but I'm just going to grab the link for now. Another thing that I like to do is, oh wait, I don't need this link. Scratch this guys, we don't need this. Um, I'm over here blabbering and not thinking. But uh, what we need actually is the ClickFunnels link. So we need this link up here because we already put the other link that I just grabbed a minute ago over in ClickBank. We already put this in the ClickFunnels lander. lander. We actually want people to go through this bridge page and eventually go over to our click page clickbank page so we actually want this link this is or this page this is the one that we actually want to share so i'm going to copy it and i don't like the big link here so i always go over to bitly and i always shorten it that way you can get a little bit of a different one here so i'll go ahead and copy it and we'll go back over to facebook and this is where you'll put in the the uh the link code. So you can see it pops up here again. Um, another thing you can do is add an image. So I'll go ahead and add this. And it'll add load up here. So you could do something like this. And basically, um, you could do something like that. And uh, like I said, guys, you want to try something new almost every single day. Um, not only is it good to keep things going that are different, but it also is going to show you what your audience is looking for. So you can see what your audience reacts best with, with, uh, best with, with what you're saying, and you can start tailoring your posts more towards that. So let's say, hey, uh, I have a free week, 
um, free one week yoga stretches that you can take a look at or hey I have a free yoga ebook or free yoga videos on here check these out if you also want to stay involved or if you also want to try out my yoga bird challenge and then you post a link you can send traffic that way so you want to do that again you want to do that in all the different groups that I was showing you make sure you join maybe 20 to 25 groups a day um, and then start posting in them on the ones that you can post in and trying to start bringing some traffic to your pages. Um, the thing with the Yoga Burn Challenge here is we can see that it's going to pay you $14.11 as um, the average conversion here. Um, so they're going to pay you a good amount for it and um, that can actually really, really add up. Now you're not going to want to do this just on Facebook. This is gonna work on all social media sites like I told you earlier. So you're gonna to wanna to do this on Instagram, you're gonna to wanna to do this on Twitter, you're gonna to wanna to even do this on YouTube, um, maybe in commenting in the comments of different maybe yoga videos or things like that. Um, you can do this on LinkedIn, you can do this on Snapchat, you can do this anywhere, guys. So make sure you take advantage of it. That's how you're really gonna start uh, making money and then a simple twist on this to really, really bring in profits is you're going to want to start collecting emails. As you saw earlier with these Facebook groups, how they were asking for emails, there's no reason why you can't create a Facebook group or a Facebook page yourself and start asking for emails too. So what you can do is once you start getting some emails, let's say maybe 100 to 300 emails, you can start doing some email marketing and start re-promoting the offers once all over again. So you can send them maybe monthly new newsletters, weekly newsletters, maybe send them new videos that you're creating um, around the subject. Um, you can send them maybe some stretches like we talked about earlier. All different types of things um, once you collect their email to really, really start scaling up on this and make $1,000 a day. So with that being said, guys, if you want to see some more videos like this, if you want to see some more great information on this, join the most active online affiliate marketing community, the AFK forum by using the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. So hope to see you in the next one. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.